Welcome friends! Today we're going to be doing a really fun, super beginner friendly, easy tutorial how to make this adorable hair bow. Um, this is made from velour yarn or velvet yarn is another name for it. So you only need a few things. This is the Juicy Couture Luxe Velour Sparkle Yarn. I think it's exclusive to Joann's. Uh, but you could really use any other kind of velvet yarn that you wanted to. I think the velvet yarn provides the most luxe look. Um, but this, is, this works really well. I think it's a number five bulky if you're looking for something comparable. And then I use a little bit of a smaller hook for this project to keep a tight weave uh, without any holes to get that ribbon look. So this one is a 4.25, just a really small hook to keep it really tight. Um, it's also a G if you go by the letters, but it's a 4.25 millimeter hook. And that's really all you need other than the hair tie um, that we use to tie it on the hair. There is an optional item that you could use, which is glue. I use a hot glue gun just to kind of secure the knot a little bit more. Um, I felt like it made the knot more secure to use the hot glue. If you don't have a hot glue gun, maybe you had fabric glue or tacky glue, I think that would work as well. Um, and then it's, it, I would say it's optional. It's just you might have to keep tightening it up if you don't glue it in some way. But if you glue it, it really stays put and because this is a very slippery yarn, but the glue helps that a lot. So you don't need to know a lot of stitches to be able to do this pattern. It's very beginner friendly. You really just need to know how to chain a single crochet, increase and decrease. Let's get started. Okay, so this project is going to be worked in rows. So I've just started here with my slip knot on my hook. Um, this, I, I left a little bit of a tail so that when I'm done, I can weave that in to the ends because you really don't want that dangling um, on your ribbon or also you don't want to look like a tiny little stub. So I leave a little bit of a tail so that I can weave that in. And then I'm just gonna chain two to start, whoops. And then to start, I'm just gonna chain two. I'm gonna pull through, pull through. Okay, so that's our first row. The next thing I'm gonna do for row two is a single crochet increase in the stitch that is second from the hook. So, let's see. So you don't wanna do it in the one that is right here next to the hook. You wanna do it in the very first one so I'm just going to do two single crochets, Oop, pull it through, and another. So that makes it increase because I'm doing two in the same stitch. So that is where we're creating that end of the ribbon look. And then I'm going to, to finish off the row, I'm going to chain one and turn it over. When you work in rows, you're going to keep turning over and working back through the row that you just stitched. For the next row, row number three, I'm just going to single crochet across. And so that'll be two single crochets into the row that I just did. Hold on. So that'll be two single crochets, um, one in each stitch that I just made. that second one it's a little bit and we are working with a smaller hook so the stitches are a little bit small but that's okay all right and then we're just gonna chain to finish off that row whoops this yarn is slippery we're gonna chain to finish off that row and then we're gonna flip it over to start our next one okay for row number four we are going to single crochet into that first stitch And then we're gonna increase into that second stitch. So a single crochet increase. And one tip that I need to give is you really wanna keep things tight um, on the edges. So you can see, you really wanna keep it tight along the edges. Okay, so when you're about to do that chain, I would pull it tight 
and chain one. All right, and so this is the bottom of our ribbon where we have that kind of tapered look. It's a little hard to see with the black yarn, um, but that is how it goes. So now we've got three across, three stitches across, and we are about to do the bulk of our labor, which is just to repeat single crochets across and chain one. So I'll do, I'll show you one more row. So we got three stitches and we're just gonna single crochet across. Remember to keep the edges tight because you don't want those being loosey goosey. Okay. So we've got three across, so you can see a little bit better how that tapered part comes through. Okay, so that is what we're gonna continue to do. Three across, chain one. And so you are gonna continue to do that three across three single crochets across and then chain one and flip and do that for as many rows as it takes to get the length that you want. Now when I was happy with the length in the one that I already made, it ended up being 32 inches long because you have to remember that you're going to be tying it into a bow. So it's going to have to be pretty long and that ended up working out for me to be 108 rows. So if you're looking to make one the same length as the one I made, then that is what I'd recommend if you're using the same yarn and the same hook. But you could really customize it and decide to do a shorter or a longer, whatever look you are going for is okay. Um, you just do it until you can tie it into a ribbon that is acceptable to you. So I'm gonna go off camera and do 108 more rows or 107 more rows and then I'll come back. All right, I'm checking in. Here is how my ribbon looks so far. It's looking pretty good. It's actually quite long already. Um, I've definitely lost count, trying to count to 108 <laughs> rows. That's too many to count. So I'm probably gonna get my ruler and just kind of go by the length. Like I said, for the other one I made, it was 32 inches. Uh, so I'm gonna get a ruler and see where I'm at. Okay, I got my tape measure. So I'm just gonna try to see how long it is right now. Okay, it's about 21 inches already. So I'm gonna keep going a little bit more. I may not make it as long, quite as long as the other one, um, just to save some time, but we'll see. I've got it really does, the work goes by really quickly just because you're literally doing the same thing over and over. You can kind of space out. But I hope if you're following along that it's going well for you. I'll be right back. All right, I am back and I'm happy with the length of my crochet ribbon now. I don't know how many rows it is. I'm not gonna go back and count them all. But it turns out to be a little bit more than 29 inches in length. So I'm happy with that especially because I'm about to do my decreases to create the other tapered end. Okay, so now I'm gonna, the next one, I'm gonna do a decrease. So I just like to do, um, it's technically I think it's the two single crochets um, together, but however you do a decrease, do a decrease in the first two stitches. And then the last stitch, do a regular single crochet. Do do, and it's getting some. Okay, and then I'm gonna chain one, flip it over, and then I'm gonna do another row where it's just single crochets, but this time it'll be two. And this just creates, it creates the taper, but not so abrupt. Let me find, I don't know why it is so hard to find stitches in black yarn, but it is. Okay, got it, so two across, and then a chain. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do a single decrease. So I'm going to put that together. So hard to see. Okay. Got it. Okay. So now I've got my tapered end on this side as well. And I'm going to tie it off, cut a little bit of a tail to sew in. Okay, 
So now we've got it tied off. And the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with my needle and just try to weave in these ends the best that I can along the edges because you really want it to look smooth. So just do your best. And so I'm gonna kinda just weave them through the ends and then cut off any excess. I'm gonna keep going though because I don't want it to fall out later when uh, it's being worn. Keep weaving it. This is why I said to leave a little bit of length on that tail and not make it too stubby. Okay, so I feel like I'm satisfied with that. I'm just gonna go back through, try to double it over a bit. Okay, so I feel like I'm satisfied with that. I'm just gonna cut off the extra. Okay. All right, so one end is done, and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, I've got my ribbon ready to go. It's so pretty and sparkly. I love this yarn. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm get, for, before I put my hair tie on, which I've just got a very basic black hair tie, um, I'm going to practice doing my bow first. So, the way I've done it is, like, when you learn how to tie your shoes and, you know, you did, like, bunny ears and under the hole. So, I think the way to make it where it's the most even, so, like, this is my finished one I've already done, is to do two bunny ears. So, I start up at the halfway point. You see. Let me show you that again. I've got it folded in half. This is the middle. And so then I'm just gonna come out a little bit from that middle and make two bunny ears. And then tie them in a knot. All right, so I can show you that's what you end up with. And obviously you can adjust it to look however you want, but now I'm gonna go back because that's not, that can't be my final knot because I have to attach the hair tie. Um, so the reason that I'm using a hair tie with this project is I had originally wanted to do it as a barrette, but then it just became too heavy. Um, since you're using yarn and not actual ribbon, then it just, it just gets a little heavy and I feel like it would tug on the hair too much. I found that this is the best way. It doesn't hurt um, or tug. It's just just right. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and slip the uh, hair tie on. And then you kind of just want that hair tie to be at the back of the knot. So just keep in mind that that's going to be at the back and then so whatever you want to make the front look pretty the most even. And you can play around with this as much as you want until you glue it. So once you glue it you're kind of you're kind of done at that point. So I'm just going to tug on this a little bit. Get it to where it's even. See, this side's a little bit shorter. Okay. Make sure it's like that. Okay. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. So you, I'm saying we're going to be exactly right. So still got the long tails. I think that's wonderful. Alright. So. I am very happy with that. What I'm going to do now to finish it out. And I'm not going to film this part. Um, but you just want to put a little bit of glue under this front piece. And then some glue under the back piece. And so that's going to keep it all together where you're not going to have to be adjusting it constantly. Alright, so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you make it, let me know how it turned out. Um, tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is over yonder crochet, just like on here. Uh, so let me know. I would love to see your finished, pro your finished projects. Um, and if you want to see more crochet stuff, I don't do a ton of tutorials. Um, I do more vlogs and market recaps, but if you're interested in that, make sure that you subscribe and like the video so more people can see it. Alright, have a great day!